Hello guys and welcome back to another video. I'm really excited about today's video because today we're going to test a rather obscure function of the Typhoon H. And of course I'm talking about the Indoors Positioning System or IPS. On the Typhoon H it's really a somewhat mysterious function. The hardware is there but there isn't really too much information on how to use it. As many pilots I purchased the RealSense module mostly because of the IPS function. I looked around the web and found very little information about how to fly with IPS. On different sites I saw the official answer which was that the IPS activates automatically when there is no GPS and there was no way to manually turn it on. I really was disappointed and even though I managed to activate it the official way I wasn't going to test fly it, since sometimes I would get a brief GPS lock just to instantly lose it. I wasn't willing to risk the aircraft trying to fly to an inaccurate GPS location while indoors and crash. It wasn't until a few months later that I stumbled upon Tony Nekodom's video that I actually got to see the manual activation procedure performed. And even though this video didn't show a flight test, this was proof that it was possible to manually activate IPS. So thanks a lot Tony. So anyway, without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to try to speak as little as possible so you can make your own conclusions. You really don't need to disable GPS when doing this, but I did it to help me prove a point later on the video. It is until you start the motors that you will see that you are in IPS mode. Now it's very important that you remember that even though you get the ready message, the satellite count and the coordinates, the GPS assist is disabled. Even though it's a calm day, there is a very little amount of wind, which will help us on the test. The IPS mode is supposed to work up to 10 meters. Now just to remind you that GPS is disabled, I'm gonna perform a small demonstration. I'm gonna send it above 10 meters, push forward, and away the edge goes. Another interesting thing is the safety height, which is far lower than normal.
Now that was a sign for myself to help me later on the edition of this video. The IPS uses a small camera to determine its position, so logically, if there aren't enough recognizable patterns, the IPS will have a hard time determining its position. So that's it for today's test. Ever since I purchased the RealSense module, I was very excited to try this function, but for whatever reason, I was unable to do so until now. I hope you find the information in this video useful. Uh, please be very careful when using this, this function. As I mentioned, it feels more like a debug function. Always remember to reboot your aircraft after entering IPS mode, because you won't be able to get out of it. Uh, remember, you will lose smart functions and you will lose home mode so anyway uh, i hope you like this video and i'll see you later